Homelessness and housing insecurity are major issues on Vancouver Island, but there is something you can do to help. The coldest night of the year walk is next Saturday, and it's a big fundraiser for our place. And so far, 70 teams and almost 600 people have signed up to walk. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. Penny Tenenhouse is getting her steps in on a crisp but sunny Victoria day, and she can't wait to take part in the coldest night of the year charity walk next weekend. I kind of think of it as, um, as love in, in motion, because we're, we're walking and, and we're coming together, and it's like so visible, the community coming together to do this, this kind of thing. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty special, I'd say. Penny and the Congregation Emmanuel Avada team she organizes have raised more than $65,000 for this year's walk and a total of $25,000 for our place over the last five years. You know, it's not, it's not that hard because, you know, you just ask and everybody is, does, gives a little and it, and it adds up. You know, every time I, uh, I see, I have to say, I see the numbers go up, I, I, I bounce up and down. And I think I'm going to be flying on the night of the walk. The family-friendly walk, which is being held in cities across Canada and the U.S. on February 25th, raises money for local charities that help people experiencing hunger, hurt, and homelessness. The Coldest Night Walk is a wonderful opportunity for our community to come out, walk with us in support of those struggling with poverty and homelessness in our community. We want people to, just, just for one evening, know the plight that so many of our neighbours are experiencing. In the world we live in today, you feel so helpless. And this is a way that you feel a little bit like you're making a difference. And hopefully you're, you know, you're making somebody's life a little bit better. Two walks are being held in Greater Victoria, one downtown and one on the West Shore, in partnership with Pacific Centre Family Services Association. Our Place hopes to raise more than $150,000 to fund its vital programs as demand for help continues to grow. People feel like they're on their own, like they, they don't have solutions uh, to, to the crises they face every night. There, there isn't enough shelter in town. Uh, all of us service providers try to do what we can, but there is such a shortage. So far, hundreds of people have signed up to walk in Greater Victoria, more than anywhere else in Canada, and they're hoping to hit 1,000 people. For Penny, who believes in the importance of giving back, it's a night that warms her heart. They call it the coldest night of the year, which is kind of cute. But I think it's the warmest night of the year. I, 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 uh, no matter how cold it is, I'm going to be feeling pretty darn good with all the support. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.